Yes, all right, 508 this morning, we continue our early riser series where we showcase those in our community who are already up. They're already working to make all of our days a little bit better. From the coffee shop to the bus garage, a grocery store this morning is where 7 News reporter James Catato is. He's live at Topps Markets, seeing what's being done before the doors open to make sure you have everything. Hey guys, good morning. Yes, we're here live at the Tops Distribution Center and this is we're going to walk you through the whole process this morning about how groceries and food and different items get from the trucks just like this right onto your shelves that you would pick up and bring home to your families maybe for a family dinner, right? So that's what we're going to bring in one of the truck drivers here, Philip Pirinelli. Philip, thanks so much for waking up with us this morning. Yes, I know it's an early start, uh, but you're pretty used to this start, right? Yes. Yep. I've been doing it for uh, a lot of years working overnights and early mornings. So what what is your normal shift? What are your normal hours? Uh, right now I start at 3 a.m. Uh, I usually work till about 1 or 2 in the afternoon. Okay. Um, a handful of stores you go to, uh, maybe two different trailers a day. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Yep. Uh, it just all depends on the day and, um, you know, what works available for that day and how, how you, because uh, it, it goes in seniority. Yeah. Um, so you pick your run and. You just go about your day. So you've done already a lot of the prep work to be able to get out onto the road. Yes. Um, what time do you like to normally get out on the road to get to a store? Well, if I start at 3, hopefully by 3.30, I'm, I'm on the road to my first store. Okay. Um, so what other prep work, walk me through really quick, what other prep work you would have to go through on uh, a day like you, this? First, you have to pre-trip the truck when you first start, um, and then you'll get your, your door assignment so the trailer will be pulled out, uh, and you have to back under hook up your airlines uh, your light cord uh, you have to get your dolly legs up and then you'd walk around uh, at especially with a, at night with a flashlight um, and just check underneath the trailer make sure that nothing's broke springs are all in good condition uh, tires are not flat because it happens yep. um, and just go over your paperwork and, and then you start your day so there's a lot of steps that go into it yeah there's a lot of steps um, Probably for somebody who's never done it, it, it seemed like a lot. But now, after all these years, it goes just like you would get in your car and, and go to work. That's how it is now. Yeah. So a lot of steps to go into it. We're going to have so many more steps, like going to another location. We're going to be at the Alden location, uh, walking you through just the process it takes to make sure that those food items get on their shelves. And then again, to your front door. Yeah. But for now, we're live at the Topps Distribution Center. We'll take you through the process later on in the morning. It's like the start to the finish. Changing a tire in a big rig is something I am not interested in doing. <laughs> I don't know how you jack that up. <laughs> we call AAA. Right, exactly. <laughs> AAA. You wouldn't have to.